So today I'm going to be talking about my experience with the UX computer science. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with Avo Academy's UX UI bootcamp. I recently completed the program probably about a couple days ago, so everything's still fresh in my mind. Um, I began my journey into UX research at the beginning of this year, and I recently graduated from you know, the illustrious Morgan State University uh, with my bachelor's in computer science. And I've always been interested in like human computer interaction or user experience, like why people do the things that they do. So I thought this boot camp was perfect for that pretty much. Um, but I'm gonna discuss what the boot camp entails and some pros and some cons or some challenges that I faced while I was um, in the boot camp. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so I know you're all asking, like, probably, what is Avo Academy? So basically, it's an eight week UX UI bootcamp, and they teach you all the fundamentals of user experience research and um, user experience design or user interface research and design. So they walk you through the whole process basically with through one case study. So we went over things like um, secondary research, user interviews surveys, um, user personas, empathy mapping, um, yeah, the whole nine pretty much, all the way to creating like your high fidelity wireframes, and then they help you design your own portfolio. So with this program, you work in modules, and then within each module, there's um, a number of activities that you have to do, and readings as well, to give you a foundation and better understanding of like what you're doing before you do each activity. So with this program, you also have access to a number of mentors, um, and these mentors go over each assignment you have. So when you're finished with the assignment, you turn it in, and then you wait for them to review it. They might make some comments on the assignment, things you might need to change, and then once everything looks fine or perfect to them, then they approve the assignment, and then you move on to the next activity. So with the program also, you can sign up for one-on-one um, -on -one calls with the mentors. That's one of the things that I like the most because you can get that immediate feedback or, and it's really personable. I'd rather, I prefer talking to somebody and like going through the motions versus them just leaving comments. I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, bland in a way, but that's just my opinion. So now I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of the program. I apologize if I keep looking to the right. Like my, I have a screen here basically with notes that I'm taking so I can stay organized and structured, but um, we're gonna start off with the pros. So one of the main pros of this program is the cost. Hands down, the cost. A lot of other boot camps I've saw were like, or I've seen were like $10,000, $15,000, or people take out loans to do those programs or boot camps. This program is like the most affordable one I've ever seen. And I found this program through Instagram and add on Instagram. So with this program, the cost might've gone up maybe a little bit, but it's only 136 a month or the entire program's um, 1497 for the whole thing. So you can do that either or, but I, I honestly think that's pretty affordable. Another pro that I wanna mention is that uh, the mentors you have are people who work in industry and they review and give you comments on your activities. I don't think other boot camps provide that type of support. You don't have one-on-one -on -one mentorship or somebody going over each activity with you. Not that I'm aware of, but yeah, I really appreciate that. And you can kind of build a relationship with some of the mentors depending on who's viewing your activity at the time. So yeah, I really like that. Another pro that I like personally is that we use Slack for communication. So if you're not familiar with Slack, um, it's kind of like a huge chat room basically. And within the main chat room, there's different channels. So for us, we have channels for each module so that we can post our activities once we've completed them. And then the mentor will say if it's approved or not, or leave some comments, you can chat with them. There's also, um, the people who are above the mentors, I want to say, like management, um, they call them 
student success leaders, but um, you can reach out to them if you need help with anything or if you need um, immediate, somebody to talk to immediately, basically. Um, I prefer that personally, personally, because you're able to network with everybody that's in the program. You can talk to mentors, you can talk to people who have graduated from the program and they're now in industry. We have channels now for people who've graduated and they talk about um, their experience, some pros and tips, or pros and cons and tips as well. And the people who've made it to industry also like to do Zoom calls or sessions where we can ask them questions on um, what the interview process was like for them, what do they do at their current job, um, how does it differ from the boot camp, like the work we did at the boot camp, the whole thing. Another pro with this program, I would say, is that it's online. I know for some other user experience or user interface boot camps, um, you have to travel to a specific location or watch lectures, like live lectures. With this program, it's you're pretty much self-paced throughout the whole entire thing, which I prefer personally because I'm in grad school, so it can be kind of difficult. If it were live, it would be very difficult for me to balance my classes and my own projects and then balance this course as well. But um, yeah, you pretty much move at your own pace. It's eight weeks, but you know, they, they're understanding that things happen, happen, so they're willing to give you an extension if you need it. Or you can also pause the program. Um, if something comes up and you're not able to keep up, you can pause and then um, read back and roll into the program. You'll have access to everything. Another pro for this program would probably be the speaker series. So they have people that come in and um, do kind of like TED Talks. It's like a Zoom call and they speak on different topics in regards to UX, UI, uh, research and design. They might have Q&A sessions. They might be tips on how to use Figma, interview questions, stuff like that. And I really appreciate that because we have access to all of them and we can watch it whenever we want. You don't even have to attend it live. So yeah, I think that's another good thing. My final pro would probably be that after this program, they have another program called Career Jumpstart. So basically with Career Jumpstart, it's another eight week program. And with this, you're working with real clients on real client projects. And then they also give you assistance with your job search. So they provide you interview prep, um, salary negotiation. You get to add two more um, case studies to your portfolio, which is good. A lot of companies want you to have at least two case studies on your portfolio to show. So another thing is that it's basically free to start as well. And then if you secure a job, you pay them, I think, 7% of your first year salary, I believe. Don't quote me. So that's my plan. I'm going to start Career Jumpstart soon. And I hope to, I, I'm going to manifest that I'm securing a job this year. So, you know, fingers crossed, prayers up. So now I'm going to get into the cons of the program. I don't really have a lot of cons. I really enjoyed the program overall. But um, I want to say one of the, my main cons was when it was, when it comes to learning content, for some of the content, they would provide just links to articles to read. And some of the art articles can be very lengthy. And for people like me, or maybe somebody who might have like ADHD or something, it's very hard to focus and like read all the, the information that's presented while comprehending it in the same time. So I tend to have to reread the um, articles and then take my notes that's one of my main cons another con i would say is probably the time it takes to approve your activities so on average they take around two to three days to approve them you might receive comments on this specific activity and then they want you to revise the activity so then you have to post it again in the chat and then wait for it to be approved again and then it can be just like a cycle especially during your high fidelity wireframes which i know it's like a Iterative process, but it can be very frustrating, especially for somebody who's never um, experienced that before. I did uh, UI design for my internship last year, so I that was like my first experience with that. But for other people, it can be very frustrating and make you want to pretty much give up during the process. Yeah, that's my final con, pretty much. But overall, I'd highly recommend this program, honestly. I'd say this program is for people who are new to UI UX design or they want to transition over from something else. And you don't even have to have a background related to this. There's people that have a background in math. Some people didn't go to school. Like literally anybody can join this field. And that's 
one of the main reasons why um, I joined this boot camp as well and transitioned over because anybody can pretty much do it. Like, I know some people feel like, oh, and going into tech, they feel like anything tech related, you have to have programming experience or coding. With user experience and user interface research and design, there's no coding really. I mean, some companies, depending on what um, software they use, maybe they might require like some minimal coding, but with this, there is no coding required whatsoever. So I wouldn't even worry about that. This program was pretty much easy and simple to follow and learn. That's another thing that I like. Uh, the information is straightforward. They provide videos, templates, so that you're not confused pretty much. But I really appreciate those. Another thing is that you have access to everything forever. So all the modules you have, all the information that they provided, um, the videos, everything you have access to forever, it's not gonna go away. So I really appreciate that portion. Overall, I've learned a lot. Within the past eight weeks, I've seen myself grown. Huh? I've seen myself grow a lot and I'm excited to start Career Jumpstart and see where I end up next. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, you can also follow me on my socials. I'm gonna put a description in, um, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you.